So today I thought I'd share with you um, a couple of my uh, all natural cleaning products, um, what we put in our washing machine, excuse the sound, and also Rosie's new phase. Um, and I'm trying for the first time the whole earth decaf coffee, which I've added an ingredient to. So this coffee is, if you can hear me over the washing machine, whole earth decaf all natural ingredients. Um, the only sugar bit in it is figs, just a sugar up, but it tastes like coffee. But I've also added, because I don't like just coffee, I've also added some salted caramel flavouring. So mine's a bit more unhealthy, but it really tastes like, like um, a caramel coffee. It really tastes like caramel coffee, it's really nice. Um, I'm going to drink it before it gets cold. My cleaning products, I have, well, Two, two main ones that aren't for dishes. So this one has vinegar, water, and a little splash of dish soap, which is for cleaning. So if there's a stain on the floor, or if there's marks on the thing, and then in this bottle, which is very, very clearly labeled for my husband, disinfectant. So this is just rubbing alcohol and water. And uh, just like you disinfect a wound, um, you just spray it on the surface you want to disinfect, whether it's your child's high chair, the sink, the surfaces, whatever. Um, it stinks if you don't put essential oils in there, so it's your preference if you want to, but the, the smell doesn't linger long. Um, and then we also use an eco washing up liquid. At the moment we're still using Tesco. Tesco one. Eco. As I said, not all our stuff has, we've managed to change to vegan yet. So I don't know if that eco one is vegan, but our secret ingredients, it's like Mark's clove, what he gets on them. We ha I have to use something tougher than uh, soap nuts. But for mine and Rosie's clothes, I use this bag of soap nuts. Um, basically, you just find an old sock or an old stocking or something. And you put five to seven of these in. And they last five washes. And it's a, it's a big bag. It's a big bag. Um... The only reason we haven't gone through it is because my husband doesn't. I don't use it for my husband's clothes. Um, and if, if I've got a particularly stubborn stain or I'm not sure they're going to do it, um, I bung in some soda crystals in one of the things I've kept. Everyone has these when they did use them. Um, sometimes the borax alternative because it helps soften the clothes. Uh, sometimes bicarbonate of soda if I think they need whitening as well. So it's, it's a good mix. If you want to make, make your own kind of soda crystals, um, the borax alternative and uh, baking soda mixed up to make the powder is what's really really great and then you add your essential oils if you want to but I'd add them I'd add them to the, as you put it in the machine and then vinegar for our fabric softener um, the one my husband uses is an eco one but we have to be careful with his skin so um, yeah so that's our cleaning stuff so just mostly vinegar and water or rubbing alcohol and water um, cleans things just as well and I don't know why I put this catch on the cupboard because Rosie can open it and if I leave it open Rosie closes it if you leave it closed Rosie opens it so Rosie does the opposite of what's there I'm going to take her in the living room and show, what she, show you what she's doing and explain her new phase Rosie's new phase and I think it's partly down to these figures that she keeps getting is um she's got a couple of busy books now so she's got a lot of princess figures prince figures and she's got some peter rabbit figures of nana yesterday and it seems to have started her off on whatever she's doing whatever you try to take away from her she just shouts but i love them which is probably better than no a lot of people probably have their kids shout no at them which she does do if if you tell her, um, oh no, you've got to stop playing now because it's bath time or something, she will have that. But it's when you try and take her off them, she started shouting anything she doesn't want taken off her. But I love them. And the other face she's in right now is she keeps saying, ouch, it hurts every time we ask her to do something she doesn't want to do. So I have found down the library the story of the boy who cried wolf. And we're going to be reading that a lot so that she understands that she shouldn't really be saying that unless it's true. Because how are mummy and daddy supposed to know the difference between when she's really hurt and not? And we're not going to believe her by the time she's really hurt if she keeps saying it. 
so I'll let you know how that part goes but this is going to take longer so when I post this tomorrow so yes this is the new face she's in these are her new she loves them but they're a pain because they're small and they're easy to get lost and she throws them and they get stuck under the sofa and I'm not keen on having many more I've already bought her one for her birthday but she only had one set when I bought that she now has about three or four sets so yes we're just going to hang out till lunchtime and our day is going to be pretty much in the house I'm probably going to try doing some sticker, stickier with her which is sticking for those of you not in Wales and some scissor work let's see if I can get her interested in using some scissors so yeah I might show you that later on otherwise uh yeah that's my cleaning products and rosie's new phase so rosie's doing some sticker we've, we've done our scissor work i couldn't really film it because we don't have a tripod but what i did is i cut a piece of paper like this into strips and then i drew dotted lines down them and this is what she's got so she's got these so she can stick these now uh, she cut these out um sort of um and then because our scissors are little scissors, I couldn't teach her the thumb and two fingers. I had to teach her thumb and one so I could get my finger in. Um, but when she can do it by herself, it would be very... The correct technique is two, two fingers. But just to show her the motion. Um, and she was she couldn't open the scissors by herself but because they were quite stiff. I might have to buy some new ones that aren't stiff. But um, she, was, she was snipping all by herself. But she was, she's very young to be doing this as well. But she's um, sticky or she's not. What she's got in here is I painstakingly go through catalogues every now and then when we get them. There's a pair you had ones in the mirror. And cut out anything I think she might enjoy sticking down if we, when we do sticky off. So that's what she's looking through right now. She's looking through her, her little pot of sticky off and she's going to make a little, she can make a little collagey picture type thing. You look tired today, baby. Yeah. You do, your hair's mad. Um, I was gonna, I bet she's having a love it or hate it when she's older, her hair. What's that? Turn it around, I can't see it. Dolls. That's a Aurora. Yeah, that's some Disney dolls. So we're probably gonna do this as part of her quiet time for the that next that 20 that minutes or until she gets bored. Um, and then we're probably going to go and play in the garden. And then when it gets to snack time, she can pick Mulan or Pocahontas to watch. Because we're borrowing them off Nana, so we need to watch them so we can return them. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed our... What we use now. Cleaning products and the coffee and the phase that she's going through at the moment. Um... Anyone else go to kids going through a similar phase, do comment below and tell me how you're coping with it. It's driving daddy nuts, this whole ouch, when she's not actually hurt. Um, and the but I love them um, is sweet at the beginning, but it, it gets a bit trying after a while. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's got any advice or has a child going through a similar thing do let me know below otherwise please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video it's tata from me and tata from